guys, it's Mimi. Finally, you can see me. Hello! <laughs> um, if you can see, because uh, my camera keeps zooming in and out kind of automatically, um, I have this crazy getup right here. Uh, it's my normal headphones, and then this is my speaker for right now, so you're going to have to excuse this. Um, today we're going to play uh, Don't Escape 2. Now, I've seen the first Don't Escape, and I really like liked it. It was just right up my alley. I'm all about the puzzles. And this one has zombies. And I was so much about the zombies. So, um, I have played it just a little bit. I tried to play it once because I was like, oh, I don't want to just go in front of, you know, however many people decide to watch this and look a fool. Which I'll still probably look a fool, but still. Um, <clears throat> it's okay. We're gonna try this. Teamwork. Now, pretty much, oh, this is gonna tell you the whole story. In the undead attacked, we weren't ready. Thinking back, we were never fully ready for this. The whole outbreak started over two weeks ago, and it's been getting worse ever since. This time, we've barely made it. We got away, but Bill got bitten. We both knew what that meant. We decided to stay in this abandoned building for a while. We needed a place to rest and sleep. A huge horde of the living dead were coming this way. They will reach us by sunset. I have to lock this place up before that happens, and maybe, just maybe, we will live to see another day. Alright. So... Like he said, it was, it's, you know, you have until sunset, and if you go up here, uh, with your mouse, you actually see how much time you have left down at the bottom, 12 hours, or, it's noon, so you have 8 hours left. Now, the cool thing about this is that, um, to increase the puzzle factor of this game is that, uh, first off, you have to, of course, look around your environment to see what stuff you can use to lock down your, um, your hideaway, but also, things take certain amounts of time, you know, it's not like another point and click thing, like the first, um, the first Don't Escape, you had all the time in the world, um, if you aren't familiar with Don't Escape, the, f the, the first one, you are like a werewolf or something like that, and you have to lock yourself inside a cabin, and so, uh, and, and keep yourself from getting out of that cabin, so that you don't go out and, you know, kill people, uh, or infect other people, and, uh, every, every time you do something there, it's an, like an instantaneous thing, you always have time, you always can do it, uh, but you, of course, have to find all the materials to do whatever you want to do in that game. Now, in this one, you have that, you have to find all the materials, but you also have to find, um, I mean, you also have to factor in the amount of time that it takes to do these things and the, pl the time it takes to get places. Now, if, like, if you wanted to go to any of these little question marks, which are just places that are around your base, um, the travel, <clears throat> the travel time is down at the bottom, and of course if you go further, like, the base is in the middle of everything, but if you go to, say... Let's go down here. Up here. No, down here. Let's go down here. Yeah. We're going here. If you go here, which is the crash site, pick up your gun. Of course, you took ten minutes, but if if you leave, we could just go around, and you wanted to go on the other side of the map, it takes 20 minutes to do that. So, of course, you still have to factor in how much time you have. So, right now, we're pretty good on time. We only took 10 minutes to get to the crash site. Um, let's go up here. I think this is a shop. Yeah. Here's this guy. He's a survivor. Sorry I can't see you clearly, I have lost my glasses. Excuse me. 
that's cute. Let's go out of here. We'll go inside the store and get whatever we can. Now there's a there's a walking dead right there. There's a walker right there. I'm just gonna call them walkers. Um and you can't shoot it because you have a gun, but it has no ammo. So there's that guy's glasses. You have to figure out a way to get some ammo. Now let's see if I can remember how to do that. That would probably be a good thing. Yeah, this is the first time I played this. <laughs> oh, here's a here's a bullet. Oh, and here's a gas can. gas. Ooh, batteries. Oh, I have a camera with no batteries. A bottle of water. <clears throat> Painkillers. Okay. Alright, well there's nothing there. have a bullet. So we're gonna go to the shop again. We're going to put the bullet into the gun. Um, go down here. Shoot. One bullet. Get his glasses. Let's see. We can give the man his glasses now. In return, I will help you. Let's go lead the way. Oh, I really want those carts. Oh, and there's fence back here. Hello, where's my mouse? There we go. All right. <clears throat> First time I walked through this, I didn't really look around. Okay. Mm -hmm. So now I have two survivors, Father Bernard and Jeremy. So some booze, fuel canister, bottle of water, painkillers, gun with no ammo, and an axe. Okay, well now I have the axe, so I can... I want to say that there's something else that I need to do here. Oh no, that's later, I think. See, there's bricks, and then there's a bag of cement. Good. 
to excuse my yawning. survivors uh, the survivors help you do stuff so that uh, keeps you from taking so much time so that's good I didn't finish it, I didn't, like, beat it or anything like that. I'm just kind of stumbling along doing what I remember doing. Uh, there was a bullet that I just picked up, uh, picked up in a short rubber hose. I wonder what that window has anything to do with anything. A continue option. So we are right next to where, or right, right where we left off. Sorry about that. Uh, I just got a new mouse, and it has all kind of cool buttons on it. And uh, apparently, I found the back button. So <laughs> let's uh, continue on. So now we have a full, t a full, f a full fuel canister. I can speak. Um, I'm wondering if I can. Are you sure you want to use the fuel on the car? You will not have any fuel left in the canister. The surrounding roads are blocked by derelicts. You won't be able to simply drive away, but travel time around the area will be reduced and you will no longer need... Oh! Well, that is so much cooler! I'm so using that. Okay. So this is my car now. Let's go to the shop. Two minutes. That's so much better. Get that. Um. Over here. Let's go to the church. Because I need that cement and those bricks. Is that it? Yes. Man, this is way better than, like... Walking around. Walking's for walking. Ha! That's for noobs. I'm not a noob. I'm best. Um let's see. Let's go to the base. I would like to a broken gate. Yes, this will only take me two hours because I have both Father Bernard and... No! You know what I want? I have painkillers! And I know my buddy is over here in pain and stuff. Where did my painkillers go? Ha! 
Oh, thank you. Well, that's good. Maybe he will uh, be able to do stuff now, huh? I don't know how much longer I can hold it together. Well, maybe... He can, uh... Get it together and, uh, help me do this real quick. That would be great. Bill will help you! Saving 15 minutes. Oh, that makes so much... Okay, that makes me so much happier. Yes, please, proceed. Okay. Now let's... go this way. There's a bullet in the hole, and some cutters, there's a key, and some wires. Excuse me. Oh, well, here's a shovel. water to this sand, put the cement in here, mix it up with the shovel, yes, oh, I didn't remember it asking me that last time, let's put the bricks in front of the window, 35 minutes, yes please. Um, let's, let's go back here. I wonder if I can... Oh, I can put this... I have to find a way to open it. Didn't I open it last time with these? I did. Don't, there we go. I was about to say, don't even lie! Okay. So I've got a nice little hidey hole. Oh, no. I don't want to. First time that happened to me, I didn't realize I clicked the door, so I thought someone shut it, and I, like, panicked. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. Oh, lesson number one. Record whenever it is fresh. Okay. Um... I want to dig a hole. Yes, please. How much time do I have left? An hour and 32 minutes left. Then I'm going to put these sticks down here. 45 minutes. Okay. Um, I have this wire. What does this wire do? And where does this key go? Oh, God, I just have a feeling that it's going to... I'm just going to fail. I feel like I'm going to fail. I guess I can't use my car now that I have locked up the gate. And there's no other place to go. can I go? Where does this key go? Maybe... Oh, why would it just... Let me just search around the base really quick. It seems to be out of fuel. Well, you know what? I made, I made my bed with... Oh, no! No, that's not what I wanted. made my bed with that fuel. I'm just going to sleep in it. Okay. So, let's point at sticks. I have two bullets that I'm going to put inside my gun. Just because. 
can I close this and can I lock it? Oh, no, I cannot lock it with wire. Apparently, I just open it. Okay, that's fine. Oh, look, another button. Did not realize it was there. Um. Is there, like, no way that I can... No way that I... Well, I guess, I don't know. Depending on how you look at it, or what kind of zombies you decide that you want to have, uh, they can or... They may or may not be able to open doors. Let's see. <clears throat> I know that before... I think I'm done. I think I'm done. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure, I'm going to give my friend Bill this, uh, this booze so that maybe I can, like, kill him easily? Yes. Okay. Sorry, Bill. You were cool. Okay. So that's all done. Is there a way to just pass some time? I think I'm done. Nice place to hide. Can I... Can I lock the hatch? Really? 45 minutes? And I can't... No, I can't. Okay. Alright, well, let's figure this out. Gas. Oh, a coin. Oh, well, okay. Nice to know that I have a coin. Can I close? No. Why would I need to do that? I mean, that's just silly. All the fish are dead. just going to chop the fish. Shovel the fish. Middle cut the fish. No. Okay. Alright. I could chop up this chair and get something. No. No, why would you do that? No. That was silly of me to even think. Alright. Well. I guess I can just, uh.
I'm just kind of stumped. Let's see if maybe I can close that. Oh, maybe it's this. Yeah, I think that. Let's go down here. Close the door. <clears throat> so you think you're ready. Are you sure you want to wait 39 minutes for the attack of the end? Let's see how it goes. Sun is set and the Horde of 50 were, had arrived. Your reckless shooting caused an additional five dead to show up. Reckless shooting. Defense was your first line of defense. It stopped 15. A 20 fell into the hole with the pointy sticks. A scratching at the brick, so 10 left. Closed door held up long enough to make 5. so cool. And then there was silence. You, Jeremy, and Father Bernard survived the night. It's time to move on and leave this place. Oh, that was weird. Well, that was so cool. Okay. Well, at least, you know. Yeah, I beat it. Um, so that was cool. That was Don't Escape 2. I'll put a link in the description where you can play this game. If you liked it, push the like button. Uh, why not? Why don't you just subscribe? There's going to be more content every day. Uh, again, my name is Mimi. Yeah. Okay. Well, anyway, thanks for watching, you guys. Bye.